Okay, so my name is Vanessa and I'm going to be showing you a very brief tutorial on how to go about making a Spry menu bar. Now, first things first is you're going to open up Dreamweaver and you're going to come over here to a new file. We're going to be working with a basic HTML, no layout. And fair warning, when I upload or when I create my menu bar, it's going to look slightly different from your own because my settings are already preset from working with these menu bars all week. So if it looks different, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to change and adjust everything already inside. Alright, so first order of business is we need to save this document. Uh, this will probably be one of your web pages, so I would suggest a name to go with that but since this is only a practice I'm just gonna call it a spry menu HTML and again come up to the title and give it an appropriate name and then we're going to click into the body and go ahead and insert over here on the right panel go ahead and insert your spry menu bar now, I'm going to first show you everything step by step with the horizontal. However, I'm only going to briefly cover the vertical because once you know how to set up one of these layouts, the other one really just falls into place because they use a lot of the same CSS styles and buttons. And it's really, really easy to work with both of them once you know what you're doing. So I'm going to first create a horizontal spry menu. Now already you can see the difference between uh, what I have been working on and what I've been using. Uh, so I'm just going to first show you how to adjust the titles. Uh, I'm going to collapse this insert panel real quick. Alright, so down here in the properties menu you can see that Every item is already listed out. Got a preset title that Dreamweaver gives these tabs. Uh, the best way to adjust these tabs is come up here to this text box here. This is going to be the title. And you just backspace that out and give it whatever page that you want. First page I'm going to create is going to be home. And I'm not going to use these tabs underneath and I'm pretty sure Brenda's already showed you guys a video on how to work with these tabs. If not, uh, you can definitely ask for that video. It's uh, created earlier this week and sent out. If you need it again, I'm sure just email her and she'll be quick to send you that video. But I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these excess tabs. I don't need them for my home tab. And I'm just going to go to item 2, and I'm going to name that. I'm going to call it products. Uh, for most product tabs, there's always going to be a couple underneath. So I'm just going to quickly make three tabs, and I'm just going to call them men, women, and children. Now, something to note, whenever you type in these new titles, it's always good to click enter afterwards because if you don't, if you go to click off of them and you haven't clicked enter, it's going to keep that item one or two title. And if you're not paying attention later on when you're looking at these items and you catch it, it's going to really throw you off. So just, just be sure that after you rename them that you click enter afterwards. Alright, so for item 3, item, I'm not really going to use these tabs, so once again, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them. And I'm going to come over to item 3, and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to have this as my About Us page. And lastly, I'm going to change this item 4, and I'm going to have it as a Customer Service page. And I'm actually going to create some tabs for this one as well, and I'm just going to have... Uh, the FAQ page, which is really great to have for your website because if you know and expect common problems or questions for your customers, that shows that you're really looking out for them and people feel 
better if you have a frequently asked question page. So it's always good to create one of those even if it's not an actual working page just yet. Uh, the last tab I'm going to call it Contact Us. Another great page to have in anticipation for your viewers. So now that we have all of the pages created that, or the tabs created that we are going to use for our website, now it comes to actually adjusting these. But before we get into that too much, I'm going to quickly show you how to link these tabs to already pre-made pages that you may have. Now for my home page, that's really going to be my index for my website. So if you know the title of your page, uh, it's best if the pages are working or in the same folder because it's going to attach itself to that index that you place here. Or if you're not sure that it'll grab the right page, if you say you have multiple indexes like I have, I have three index pages in my folder all together. But if you really want to make sure you get the right one, you can come over here to this folder and click Browse. And you just go down into the correct folder and file. And you select which file you want that tab to link to. And once you select it, it's a, it is now a working tab. Uh, the others are not working yet, but those are simple enough. If you want to go to Products and say that you want Men, you can also do these for the same as you did for that page. You can come over here to the browse and you can get the shopping page. Or if you don't have something specific for those pages yet, you can leave those as invalid or, excuse me, uh, non-working links. And you can just come over here to products itself and have that as your shopping page so that even if these don't work they can still click products or if you just want to go ahead and link all these to the same page that works too but that that's a quick way to link all your buttons there is another way that you can link these to uh, certain text and items on the page itself uh, using anchor tags but I'm not going to go into that video because that would be another long explanation and I don't really have the time right now to get into that. So all we have left to do is adjust these tabs to fit our website. And the best way to do that is come over here to the CSS styles and right here where it says bar menu horizontal bar CSS we're going to click this plus sign and it's going to open up all those tabs. And these are all what's created this tab or this menu bar for us. And I'm just going to show you how to adjust the colors uh, already. Your text should already match the page because uh, the properties are actually set to go with the properties panel that you have on your main page. So as long as you've adjusted your page properties, your spy menu bar text will actually adjust with it. So first we need to come into horizontal bar LI. This is what's going to change the size of your your bars and you're going to come down here into the properties if you can't see your properties panel just pull this tab up or this one down and it, it should be right underneath your rules panel and we're going to come over here to properties and we're going to scroll down um, you can adjust all these as you want to but the ones that we really want are the bottom two now this is your text alignment just click on the word left will open up the drop down menu and I want my text to be centered because I, that's just how I want my tabs to look if you want to keep yours left or right you can but this is this is the place to do it um, after you've selected how you want your text to look now it's coming into the width of these tabs uh, it's better to know ahead of time how wide your web space is going to be because if you know how wide it is then you can adjust your tabs to fit to that size or if you want them to be a certain size itself then you can go ahead and put that in but your menu will probably say 8.2 EMs the first thing you want to do is change those EMs to PX or pixels because 
having pixel control over your website is a lot easier to work with and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are already working with pixel